Hey guys, Jeff and Sarah here. Uh, we are going to be diving at Koki Beach today with Evan as well. Sarah, where's Koki Beach? We are on St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands today. Yeah, just near Red Hook on the North Shore, kind of on the east end of the island here. This looks like a fantastic dive site and right here on the beach is the Koki Dive Center and uh, the owner Peter is going to be taking us out for a private tour today. So we're super excited about that. You guys are going to be coming along with us, but they've got some great facilities here. Yeah, look, they've got tables to set up on right next to the shore. It's going to be a great time. All right, well, let's get geared up and guys stick with us through the end of the video. This is going to be a pretty epic dive. I guess, I guess I'll just give a regular briefing. Hello yeah, there, <laughs> America. <laughs> and the ship to sea. And all the ship to sea. That's how it goes. Okay, so the, um, there's two reefs here. Uh, we're going to, with the current the way it is, it's kind of weird. There was no fish in here for some reason. So as we get on the reef, it seemed like they all are out there feeding and whatever. So, and we're just going to go in, put our gear on, check, make sure you have enough weight. We're just going to drop under, hit the edge of the reef. And then that'll give us the, the longest run here that we have. And then we're just going to head, head down uh, east towards Coral World. Heading east, we're looking for these old intake pipes that are now called Peter's Pipes that provide a landmark up to Coral World. As we swim across the reef, we look closely and see these tiny bluebell tunicates sprinkled on the reef. Locating the end of the intake pipes for Coral World, we follow them up to shallower water. Searching along the way for sea life that now call these pipes home. Coral World Ocean Park provides visitors with an opportunity to learn about and connect with marine life and the underwater world. While exploring the pipes we find ourselves pleasantly distracted by a passing green sea turtle. Leaving the green sea turtle behind, we look ahead and find the undersea observatory tower at Coral World. From the inside, visitors can view the natural coral reef we are exploring. They discourage divers from getting too close to the observation tower. But today, Coral World is closed, so we sneak up to peer inside at the museum displays.
Circling back towards the beach, we encounter a school of horse-eyed jack at the surface. They seem accustomed to divers and allow us to swim along with them. The school of horse-eyed jack are also accompanied by a few large tarpon that don't seem to mind our presence either. Back in only 10 feet of water or three meters, we discover a moon jellyfish. They're not strong swimmers and are often found near beaches, having been pushed up on shore by strong currents or upwellings. They are the least dangerous of all the jellyfish to humans, but do have enough stinging power that you'll feel a mild irritation. The four petals in the center make the moon jellyfish easy to identify. They're hypnotic, beautiful creatures. All right, the east dive was pretty amazing. Where are we headed next? We're heading west. We're going to do the second dive going in the west direction. We're going to head out into the water um, roughly this direction uh, to where the east reef has ended. We're going to point due west and head in 20 feet of water until we reach the reef and just follow along with the topography. All right, sounds like a plan. Does to me. Let's go in. All right. Yeah. On the west side, we quickly find more bluebell tuna kits. Looking around, we can find them almost everywhere. They're marine invertebrates and are filter feeders, commonly called sea squirts. Swimming along the reef, Sarah finds a spotted moray eel and signals. It's a tight spot and hard to see, but I work my way down and find the spotted moray tucked in some coral. Moray eels open and close their mouths to breathe, passing water over their gills. As we continue on, we find the West Reef is home to a number of eels. As we look around, they're almost everywhere. A golden tail moray eel is tucked tightly up under a coral head. He's challenging to see and blends in well, but we're able to get a glimpse. Continuing the dive, Evan signals he's found another eel. It's another spotted moray eel, this time laying in the sand under a coral head where part of its tail is visible. The moray eels are nocturnal hunters, so we don't expect to see them out during the day. But we do find another spotted moray towards the end of our dive, peeking through the coral. Even the sand is home to some amazing sea life. This solitary upside down jellyfish is just laying on the bottom. Guys, definitely make sure to check out another video here at the end. 
If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a dive. But thanks for watching, and we will see you underwater.